Like and subscribe right now, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Normally, land predators prey on land because of the abundance of creatures they can be hunted and enjoyed at dinner time. But some hardcore animals hunt both on land and in water, depending on their appetite. Today, we're looking at 10 badass land animals that eat ocean creatures. Watch to the end to see what is killing the innocent fish in your ponds. Let's begin. Number 10. Bald Eagle Americans have some weird kind of obsession with eagles, especially the bald ones. What else can justify having one as your national animal? All things aside, even I, who doesn't like birds that much, thinks bald eagles are some of the most beautiful creatures you'll ever see. Bald eagles are an epidemic in the United States. You can find them in every state except for Hawaii. The population is higher. The bald eagle dwarfs most other raptors, including the turkey vulture and red-tailed hawk. It has a heavy body, a large head, and a long, hooked bill. In flight, a bald eagle holds its broad wings flat like a board. Bald eagles eat mostly fish, with a variety of coastal and freshwater species included in their diet. Even though they eat other animals too, 90% of their diet includes fish, including sushi. Watching a bald eagle hunt is really a treat for eyes. But they don't always catch their prey. Like good American citizens, they also steal their prey, because why not? There was a time, in the 1990s, when the bald eagle was an almost extinct animal. But thanks to wildlife enthusiasts, they bounced back after conservation efforts helped them come back from the brink of extinction. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works. Number 9. Leopard There are very few animals as majestic as big cats. They are royalty and don't interact with other animals during social gatherings. They seem to have a lot of attitude, it seems. Leopard's diet includes a lot of different animals, including deer, bison, if they can kill one, monkeys, and fish. Yes, some leopards actually do hunt fish. Which one, you must be wondering? They have a strong liking for catfish, maybe because they have the word in their name, and a leopard is a cat too. A leopard only resorts to eating a fish when there's a scarcity of food on land. This happens usually in Botswana, where leopards have adapted to catching catfish in the muddy waters of their surroundings. Some of these wild beasts diving into the water to catch their prey. Again, because leopards think too highly of themselves, they only get into dirty and muddy water when they're hungry and there's nothing else to eat. Number 8. Osprey Ah, another bird on the list. Don't be annoyed because after you watch this, you'll realize that osprey have some incredible fishing skills with an amazing ratio, and that's the reason why I've included it on the list. The osprey is the only hawk in the West that eats almost exclusively live fish. In North America, more than 80 species of live fresh and saltwater fish account for 99% of the osprey's diet. To me, the coolest thing about this bird is that when diving after fish, ospreys can completely submerge themselves underwater and still be able to fly away with their prey. Most other fish-eating birds of prey can only pluck fish from the surface of the water as they fly by. Want to know another cool thing about them? When they dive into the water, osprey closes their third eyelid, which is semi-transparent. It actually goggles and helps them see clearly beneath the water. Imagine having natural goggles. This really is the coolest bird I've ever seen. No cap. Number 7. Hooded Merganser Tired of birds? I promise, this is the last one. I hope so. There's a big chance you don't know what herded mergenser is. I mean, even I didn't know before today, but believe me, they're pretty amazing. First, if you ever see them swimming in a pool, you'd have no idea what the thing is. Hooded is something of an understatement for this extravagantly crested little duck. Adult males are a sight to behold, with sharp black and white patterns set off by chestnut flanks. Females get their own distinctive elegance from their cinnamon crest. Hooded mergensers are fairly common on small ponds and rivers, where they dive for fish, crayfish, and other food, seizing it in their thin, serrated bills. They can actually change the refractive properties of their eyes to improve their underwater vision. And just like the osprey, they also have an extra pair of transparent eyelids, which makes them 10 times cooler than other boring ducks out there. This quack quack has my heart. What about you? Number 6. Wolves Finally, something other than a bird. Wolves are amazing creatures. They're probably loved by everyone since the Twilight Saga came out. What a time that was. Were you Team Jacob or Edward? 
Tell us in the comments. Anyway, back to wolves. Like I just said, wolves are amazing. They have beautiful fur and live in even the coldest parts of the world. Normally, they eat anything from humans to bison and even rodents. Yeah. But when regular food dries up on land, especially in snow, where wolves are in abundance, they have to resort to fishing. Their fishing skills are as amazing as land hunting. Gray wolves have a much larger proportion of fish and sea creatures in their diet than other types of wolves. They feed on salmon, seals, beluga whales, and even sushi. Just kidding with the last one there. 20% of their food diet usually has fish because they don't have to hunt much. Fishing definitely is easier than tracking down and fighting with a deer. Number 5. Snake you probably didn't expect snakes to be on this list, but like I always say, leave no reptile behind. Snakes are excellent swimmers, and there are even some snakes that live in water more than they do on land. So obviously, they would feed on fish in the waters they swim. Poor marine animals, they're hunted by almost every creature on the planet. They might start a revolution someday. Anyway, back to snakes. Land snakes usually have a hard time eating fish, because they have a hard time breaking down certain enzymes in the fish meat. There's one snake that loves fish though. Most of garter snakes' diets consist of fish. Because of their small size, they can't grow longer than 5 feet. The types of live fish which are suitable to feed the garter snakes are guppies, tilapia, and mosquito fish. These snakes are also kept as pets in America, and they usually feed on frozen fish. They are not the only ones who have an appetite for fish though. The diamondback rattlesnake can eat much bigger ones, like the catfish. Number 4. Pelican you must be thinking, ugh, another bird. But this list just cannot be complete without the mighty pelican. There are more than half a dozen species of pelicans, but all of them have the famous throat pouch for which the birds are best known. These large birds use their elastic pouches to catch fish, though different species use it in different manners. Their hunting ways are pretty amazing. Many pelicans fish by swimming in cooperative groups. They may form a line or a U-shape and drive fish into shallow water by beating their wings on the surface. When fish collect in the shallows, the pelicans simply scoop them up like a vacuum cleaner. They can store some three gallons of water in those massive pouches. Pelicans are found on many of the world's coastlines and also along lakes and rivers. They are social birds and typically travel in flocks. Number 3. Polar Bears did you know that polar bears are classified as marine animals? Yes, we're not kidding. Because they spend most of their lives on the sea ice of the Arctic Ocean, depending on the ocean for their food and habitat, polar bears are the only bear species to be considered marine animals. How cool is that? Due to thick sheets of snow everywhere, polar bears have nothing else to eat other than marine animals. As well as reaching speeds of up to 6 miles per hour in the water, polar bears can swim for long distances and steadily for many hours to get from one piece of ice to another. Their large paws are especially adapted for swimming, which they use to paddle through the water while holding their hind legs flat like a rudder. Their swimming skills also help them hunting for food, but less than 2% of their hunts are successful. They stay hungry for days, and that's why most of the polar bears you see are thin and malnourished. They feed on different types of fish, seals, and even whales. They eat whatever they can, really, even humans. And with that, it's now time for today's subscriber pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. If you come across a photo online and you want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it on a future video. Number 2. Mink Known as water wolves, this little creature is more dangerous to your ponds than any other creature. Yes, even mosquitoes. If you're wondering where did all that fish in the pond of your favorite garden go, beware, because a mink probably ate most of it, even if there was an ice sheet on the water. This little predator can slip in and out through the ice layer by way of the hole that is maintained. They can do this silently, take a fish, and then slip out without leaving any obvious evidence that it was there. Minks prey on both small and large fish. Small fish are eaten on the spot, and the larger ones are taken with them. These water wolves of our water gardens can be devastating for people who view their fish as part of the family. They are silent killers, leaving very little evidence, so it's tough to know there's a mink problem until it's too late to do anything. Number 1. Otter Otter is the most badass hunter of marine animals. River otters are amphibious mammals known for their swimming ability. River otters may live along rivers, lakes, ponds, sloughs, bays, estuaries, or even along a sea coast. Not only do they consume aquatic animals, they're expert hunters of fish. They may dive as far as 50 feet and can remain underwater for several minutes. Underwater, the river otter swims as fast as 7 miles per hour with considerable grace and agility necessary for catching prey. 
They usually prey on bigger fish because it's easier to capture and gives them more energy too. They use all that energy to mate. Naughty little creatures. Which of these animals did you find the most amazing? My personal favorite's the otter. Let me know in the comments section down below. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe.